if you in any way have a, a, heart, a heart, if yeah. you have someone you care about, someone you love, you realize how heinous and evil of an act that this was. As you describe it, Stephen A., and it's exactly what all of us saw, and you mentioned the names of the five police yeah. officers who took Tyree Nichols' life, I think you missed some words. You missed murderers because yeah. that's what they are. And you okay. miss cowards. Okay. To, I agree. To have someone restrained and continue to beat them to death, I don't think we've quite put that into words, or you mm. can even put into words the amount of hate you have to have, the amount of hurtful, malicious, murderous intent you have to have to beat a human to death. Mm -hmm. To be so premeditated, to be so calculated in your evil that you cover up the body cam, that you scream things that you know aren't true because you're setting up your false reports. You're setting up your opportunities to just do whatever the hell you want to because you have a badge. And all the times when we get people who push against Black Lives Matters and you have to explain to them, no, we're not saying that other lives don't matter. We're saying that Black Lives Matter too because they matter to us. Now you can't even scream that they matter to us because these five cowards look just like Tyree Nichols. These five cowards left homes, left neighborhoods, left houses, that, uh, um, left projects that people look just like them, and they just don't give a damn. Because whatever the pollution is, whatever the poison is, whatever the rhetoric is that says someone that looks like Tyree Nichols and Tyree Nichols himself is not worth living, they fed into that. And so now it wasn't about Black, it wasn't about white, it wasn't about brown, it wasn't about yellow, it was about blue and the way that blue sees black. And so now it is another funeral, Stephen A. And it is another time where we have to come on TV and support John Morant as John Morant tries to be a voice to people who have no voices. But when's going to be the next time? It, does, it can't be when's going to be the last time because we're not going to get a last time. When is it going to be the next time? And when are we going to start to care as people tell us to trust the guys in blue, to trust the women in blue, to trust the badges? And I'll end with this. They were a part of a task force that is called Scorpion, Scorpion Street Scorpion. Crimes Operations to Restore Peace in Our Neighborhoods. Right. So the police officers and the police authorities right. did what they thought was best which was put these five brothers who should understand these communities and understand the people in them enough to protect them on this task force. And instead, they do this. Now, you tell me when you can get to a point to trust them. For Tyree Nichols and his family, for what they have to go through, for what they have to suffer through, it is incomprehensible. And the pain has to be immeasurable. And it's yeah. not right, man. It's not yeah. right. And, and, and you guys have eloquently said it and, and it spoke the truth. And, and you just hurt even sitting here listening to you guys talk about it. And, 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 and it is a blue thing. For, and, and we've dealt with it. And I, oh, we keep talking about it. It's so great to see everybody come out. And it's great to see John Moran and, and these modern athletes speak out. But man, aren't we tired of seeing it? You know, and, and, and what, what, thinks, what, what kills me, Ryan, when you sit there and talk about it, like, you, how do you get this brazen? You know somebody's going to see it. There's nothing that's going to happen post George Floyd, post Floyd, that we're not going to have cameras on, no matter what. And you still take it to this distance. There's got to be cameras on. So that tells you that there's some kind of I, I, just, just, just lack of care. And, and that hurts. And I know we keep saying it's not a black white thing. You don't ever want to see anybody get hit, anybody get beaten like that. But it does hurt a little bit more. That these are black Hell men yeah. doing it. It hurts, man. I'm tired of seeing black men fight black men. I mean, it's a, it, and it's a blue thing, but we, we've seen it. 
quite a bit this year, going way back to the, to the Will Smith and, well, and, and, and Chris Rock stuff. I'm, I'm just tired of seeing us do it. We got enough of a fight fighting to get our right, fight to get our right perspective in our right place. We can't be fighting each other like this. Please, let's just stop that. Please. I think this, the, the other First part all, that's hard for me, and I'll give it right to you, Stephen A., sure, sure, is sure. When you, you're mentioning how are you so brazen. They covered up the cams. They, they, they screened things that weren't going to happen. And right. they were just going to go live their lives. And this ain't the first time. They this were can't just be gonna, the first time. Were, and that's what you're saying, not, Ryan. One, one that's what we're saying. Already this is has not a, the first time. a documented case. But they were just going to walk off and go right. home. Yeah. Right. And do well, it again. The thing, before, let me close out by saying just a few things real quick. Number one, um, I so appreciate, Michael Irvin, what you said. Because as we sit up here and we debate sports and we go at each other and all of that other stuff, the one thing that no one can deny is that when they see us on the air talking with each other, we love each other. I love y'all. Y'all got love for me. We love Molly. We're family. We have a blast having fun and going at each other all in fun, making people laugh while we're sitting up there spewing our sports knowledge and stuff like that. Because what you're talking about is the importance of getting along and being civil and decent right. at our core with right. one another. And when we see three, or I'm sorry, five black police officers right. do that to anybody is heinous. But to do that to an unarmed, 150-pound kid, dude rather, 29 years old, father of a four-year-old, 100 feet away from his house. Was, that's why he was screaming for his mother, because he was three doors down from his house when he did that. It just stings. There is no doubt. I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I know I shed a tear because I watched all 66 minutes.